guys, welcome back to Savoring Greens. It's Yasmin here. Happy, happy new year. I'm sorry I've been away for the past few weeks. I'm sure many of you guys have been busy as well. But basically what happened is that my family and I flew to Singapore for Christmas and then to Manila for the new years. Now the holiday was really great because we got to spend time with family and friends but at the same time the flight going to Singapore was really tough because Nathan had a fever of around 39 degrees Celsius and he had that for a few days so yeah so it was really tough it was tiring especially for him but I'm glad and I'm happy to tell you that everything is okay now everything was actually okay but by the time we flew from Singapore to Manila and um, yeah, and we're now settled here in Dubai. We just got back last January 4. I'm excited to get back into vlogging. And today I'm gonna share with you guys some of the items that I discovered when I attended the Organic and Natural Products Expo in Dubai last December. Now the expo was held at the World Trade Center and there were around 10 or more countries that participated. So Sri Lanka was there, the Philippines was there, I'm so proud. Certain countries in Africa, Turkey, Italy, and yeah, and, and there were just so many different products to discover. Items ranged from farm to table type of concept, to organic fertilizers, to supplements, to of course skin and hair care, which was actually my favorite. And all of the products that I'm going to show you here are all actually under skin and hair care. Don't worry about it. I know these products are unique, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to look for similar products online that you can get as well, if ever you want to try these products as well. So anyway, so enough about the event. I'm now going to show you guys the five products that I got and give a little bit of a review because I've used it maybe once or twice uh, so that I could give you guys my feedback. So if you're interested to learn more about it, let's get started. The first product that I'm going to show you guys is this eyelash and eyebrow care oil. Now this is actually from Turkey and when you open it, what I like about it is the applicator. Well, these are the same type of oil, it's a combination of different oils actually. And the ingredients are all in like Turkish, so the only ingredients I can make out is uh, jojoba oil and vitamin E. So what I like about it is when you open it, you have this eyelash applicator. Oops, right there. Okay. And um and the other one, the other one is meant for the eyebrow. See, so that's the applicator right there. I've been using this actually since I got it in December. And one of the things I actually talked about in my health journey is that since I moved to Dubai, I've been like noticing shedding of hair like more on my face, on my limbs. And uh, I've been trying to find like different supplements or ways to improve that. So let's see if the eyebrow and eyelash care oil actually makes a difference. The next product that I'm going to show you guys is this shia body butter from ghana so this one is not pure it's a combination of shia butter olive oil sweet almond coconut oil and coconut butter when you open it it smells it smells really really yummy like i want to eat it it smells like a combination of vanilla and coconut this product i actually got for nathan because he's suffering from dry skin and i find that shia butter is actually supposed to be very good for dry skin but upon applying it, see, the, the, the product is really, really dense and it's hard. Like, you can see it's hard. So, my comment here is that it's quite difficult to apply. Now, in the Organic Expo, I noticed that some of the businesses, what they do is they actually take shea butter and then they whip it to make sure that it has like that really soft consistency. So if you have that option to purchase that, then I, I would actually recommend that you get that instead of this one. Okay, now the next two products actually go hand in hand. So you have the Gentle Facial Exfoliant, Lilac and Organic Sugar, and then you have the Moringa Face Mask. Now the Gentle Exfoliant, so I'll just look through the ingredients. So it's a combination of sea salt, aloe vera gel, 
rice flour, kaolin, organic coconut sugar, lilac essential oil, virgin coconut oil, and vitamins. The reason I got this was before um, I would use, in, in order to exfoliate my face, I would use lemon with sugar and honey and then like rub it on my face, which is quite harsh. So I decided, you know, it's about time that I actually get something that's specifically designed for it but is organic and all natural. You guys know that it's very important to exfoliate our face because it gets rid of the dead skin cells so it prevents our face from looking like rough and dull. This product, upon using it, I actually really like it because it has that whole like fresh and cooling effect on your face. My only comment is, so upon opening it, I'm gonna show you something. Look at how little of the product it contains. I've only used this once, guys, and I only took a small amount, and look at what remains. So not a great value for money, if you ask me. Moving on, so the other one, so these, both of these products are from the same company, and normally, like, these businesses, when they go to the expo, they're actually looking for distributors here in Dubai. This one is the Moringa face mask. And I've seen a lot of face masks before, but the reason why I got this one is that the owner said that Moringa is actually designed to increase blood flow to your face. So when you use the, the face mask, it actually encourages blood flow, which is great because it, uh, it helps your cells get rid of toxins. It enables it to like obtain more oxygen and all of that. So this one, oops, sorry guys. So this one, see the consistency? It's a clay mask, so when you put it on your skin, after a while, it can get quite tight, especially if you have dry skin. So the owner actually recommended that you leave this on your skin for around 20 minutes, and when you remove it, you'll see the face is actually totally red, which is a good thing because you could see that, okay, blood flow is there, you know, cells are getting the oxygen. The thing is though, if you have dry skin, the mask that's made out of clay can tend to like, feel really tight and dry on your skin. So one option is just to just leave it on your face for around 15 minutes, or you can add a face oil to add more hydrating qualities uh, to the product. So yeah, so that's it. So all in all though, in terms of the quality, not the quantity, <laughs> I, I really like these products. I enjoy them and I will now continue to use them. I was actually saving them because I wanted to film it in its like, you know, in its almost like unopened or unused form. So, but from now on, I'll start using them more often as well. The fifth product, the last product that I'm going to show you is actually something that I saved for last because for me, I consider this the gold find of the day. And it's this marula oil from Namibia. This one, when I saw it, I was like, I've always been interested in like, you know, in oils, and I've been a fan of argan oil for the longest time. But this one, apparently, you know, the owner said that, uh, when I saw it, so it looks something like this. He said that, just apply a small amount on your arm and see what happens, and I did. So it's like, just a little bit and then you apply it and then it actually like goes a long long way and when I apply it on my skin during the event I could see like it was like glowing for the next hour so it was really really good at hydrating my skin I did more research on marula oil and apparently marula oil has 16% more antioxidants than argan oil and it's really known for its ability to deeply penetrate into the layers of your skin to hydrate them so it's really good for dry skin it also reduces the appearance of wrinkles fine lines and it also restores skin elasticity another benefit is, is that marula oil is very high in vitamin e which help promote the production of collagen so making your skin extra supple and firm and tight and all of that i enjoyed using it uh one comment though is that i compared this because I've actually been using this Josie Moran argan oil, uh, light argan oil, and what I like about it is that you can spread it on your skin and it's very, very light, and you can even put makeup on top of it. But with Marula oil, I find that I can't do that because it's quite heavy and it's more greasy for me. So, what I do is that I use Marula oil at night 
so that you know you spend the whole night just getting like moisturized and all of that and then you could use like argan oil in the morning before you put on your makeup so that's just a, an example of how you can use it okay so i guess one of the things key takeaway from the expo is really my discovery of marula oil and i was even thinking oh my gosh like it's like i really want to distribute this product in dubai you know i just don't know how to start or where to start okay so those are all the products that i wanted to show you and if you have any specific skin and hair care hacks that are products that you'd like to share please type them down in a comment section below because i love to also get your feedback on products that work right very important stay tuned for the next video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys and i will see you soon bye